Hello and welcome. I'm your host, Dutchy Dogs. And I'm Rusty Red, and this is Seven Days to Die Let's Play Duo, Episode 1, Segment 2. Alright, so where we left off yesterday, we both got our butts kicked by that dog. Um, looking back on the video, I noticed that I had no stamina while attacking that dog, so that's why he chewed through me without a problem, and I did nothing to him. And now Rusty's stuck in the desert. As we watched her yesterday, it didn't go so, so well. Um, at least with the mic. So I think we fixed that issue, and it will be good to see what she does today. Hopefully anyway, so it looks like I gotta get a new headset, because I'm not exactly one designed to do this recording, so hopefully that will fix the problem. Well, today I'm just gonna go dialing around, collecting wood so we can build a wall, and hopefully I get enough wood. So I'm really liking this house, but eventually I would like to get back to that to that military base and really check it out. Unfortunately, there was tons and tons of zombies there when I got there. Yeah, we all saw what happened last time you stepped foot in there and weren't paying attention. Yeah, <laughs> landmines are not the greatest thing in the world. Oh, I also saw from the video that I was watching yesterday from us, um that you found a fort out in the, the desert, possibly. That'd be pretty cool to go check out. Yeah, it kind of almost looks like a back-in-the-horse-day type of fort. It, yeah, so, looked interesting, anyway. It looked pretty big. Yeah. So we'll have to get out there and check it out. Yep. So I'm trying to clear a good area around this house. Oh my gosh, another dog? Are you freaking kidding me? Yeah, without a without a designated hub city, um, probably going to run into a lot more dogs than we normally... Oh, hey, look a guy. Yeah, I'm not liking more dogs randomly busting around during the day. Oh, he broke my leg. No way. A rabbit, I'm just giving it a heart attack. Uh, and begins the broken leg saga. <laughs> I got a, uh, I got a uh, chainsaw. Oh, really? Already? Yeah. yeah. Holy cow. Now all we need is just, uh, fuel. Did I loot this guy? Yes, I did. More people. Hello, neighbors. Welcome. Let me bash your brains in. So at least for clubs go, you know, if once you s start out, if you don't have a forge book and you can't make a better one, getting a few pieces of scrap iron. Oh, I don't need that. Um, getting a few pieces of scrap iron. Oh my word! Will allow you to make a reinforced club. Now, I like once they come out. Once they came out with with patch eleven, is that weapons meant a lot more. You used to make a stone axe and you were good. Up until a very good melee weapon came along, but now. Even a regular melee weapon in poor quality tends to do better than even an axe does. So. Just whatever you have available, though. Oh, sweet. A duffel bag. Different types of bags right next to each other. Nice. Oh, my inventory's full. Aww. Now, something I did notice is when you go to repair even a stone tool, the higher quality is, the more stones it takes to repair that tool. It's not always just a one for one. Ah. 
gotta get really close to hit these guys. Oh yeah. That's why I hate the melees. I hate getting in there. <gasps> oh no, someone else is killing me. Oh jeez. Hearing another guy walking around, but I have no idea where. Ooh, that hurt, didn't it, my friend? Oh, that will hurt eventually. Yeah, take that. Grin and bear it. Oh, you love it, don't you? Come on. Ah, oh, this guy. It sounds like you're having fun out there. Yeah, I'm like out of inventory space and I'm trying to loot something. While guys are coming at me, so I'm having to run back away from it, change my inventory around, find things, and then run back over and try to take stuff back out of the bag. Sounds fun. Mm-hmm. Ah! Oh, I already I have to say, those, those little crawling guys, or whatever you call them, creepers, or... That's Minecraft, sorry. <laughs> Those little guys, man, they do not underestimate them. They just, like, pop out of the woodwork. They're just, like, in the weeds, and you never see them until, boom, your leg's broke. Yeah, that's kind of how it is. They're kind of like gangsters. Hey, it looks like a... Somebody went camping? Hmm. Looks fun. All right. Well, what the? Hey, where are you coming from? Coming from the store. Oh, I'm out of arrows already. Time Flash flies light. when you're having fun. Ah. Oh yeah, and don't step on the cactuses because they actually do hurt you. Yeah, mm. that landmines. Yeah, no more arrows. Ah! Whoa! What? I'm like weaving through guys. <laughs> They're everywhere! Okay. I will come back for you, little base. Good. Nice little camp there. Mark that. Um. Well, now begins the long time of having a l broken leg. Oh gosh, seriously? Yeah. Dang. Hey, I just made level 5 too. Hope there's not dogs in the burning biome. I think there's dogs everywhere. There's a town in the burning biome. Really? Is it on fire? Well, if it was on a flyer, I don't know. I don't really want to go through there. Um, doesn't really look that burnt. Things are just not as intact as they were, but they don't look like they're that much... I think they could have done a better job making it look like it's part of a burning biome. It just looks like things just... got overgrown. <laughs> well, yeah, they're doing a lot to to fix things, so... That is true, it's still beta. I keep forgetting that. It's hard to remember that. When you're playing in beta, it is very hard to remember that you're in beta playing still, and so it's like, man, what? Especially with this game, because this game is really awesome, oh, as yeah. is. I mean, there's a lot of things that I can't wait to have come in, and I think it definitely could use, but as is, the game is pretty darn fun. Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, I could just keep playing this all the time. If they never said that more was coming, I would probably be pretty content with it as is. I mean, this is they're doing a really good job starting this game out. Yeah, Fun Bimps did a very, very good job. So, shout out to you guys. You guys did a good job. So, now I'm just making my, making my way down the street. I do not know if I'm going to have enough frames. Especially if I keep losing them. Burning guy. Bye. Where's the house? What house? Our little towery thing. Oh, hey, come on over here. I got pants. 
I'm gonna go get my backpack first because I have pants in my backpack. Yeah, I know, <laughs> but I got it. Oh, you picked everything up? Yeah. Tell me my backpack's over here. Well, go look. Gosh, that's gonna be annoying, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, you should have just left it. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Oh, now it's gonna sit and constantly tell me that that's there. Okay, so where'd you put my stuff? In my inventory. Oh, you still have it in your inventory. Yeah. If I don't have it in my inventory, then I put it away. You've gone quite a ways. Thing already. Nice. Yep. All right. Hey, you look spiffy. Um, I don't have much inventory space at the moment, so one thing at a time. Oh. Clothes wise. Um. So there's pants. Give me anything else yet? Mm, I give you a hat. I didn't pick up a hat. I think you picked it back up. Neither. Oh, no, I picked I got it. Yep. Oh, okay. Just was still over here somewhere. Alright. Oh, yeah, I ended up uh, get, ending up with a. This club is a blue club. Or, uh, blue quality. Nice. I guess is actually great. I was gonna say, you went to a blue man club? Oh, nice. Yeah. You didn't, you didn't uh, figure it out by looking at my attire when I arrived? Good point. <laughs> Alright, do you have anything else of mine that I need, or is it all pretty much stuff that can just go in? Like arrows, rocks? I have cotton! Oh yeah, because I need to make a bed. I don't want right. to end up in a desert somewhere again. So, so there it is, floating. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of cotton. Oh, whoops. Three, four. All right. So, um, what are you thinking about doing? Um, uh, making a bed and putting it down. Oh, okay. Eight. I picked one up already. God, I had one in my inventory from the little camp. Alright, so we're just going to continue getting this wall all built. Wait, the first thing I do when I come into the room is I'm like, hey, let me loot all this stuff. Look at all this cool stuff! <laughs> It looks like what I had in my inventory. <laughs> this is going to be a big wall, and it's going to be hard to do. Do we have the time? Yes, we do. Oh, okay. So we're also going to be doing a video that's going to go over cooking and the weapons and you know, all the things that you might need to know to play this game and hopefully to be as effective as possible. So stay tuned for that as well as we're going to be doing some other Let's Plays where it involves you know, working with no forge, working with... No ranged weapons, no melee weapons, so we're going to be doing a few more Let's Plays, so stay tuned and see what else we can come up with to go crazy. Yeah, we're kind of wanting to make this rather fun for you guys to watch, so it's not just watching us doing this in all of our future Let's Plays. So this is kind of just the one we're using to start out. Um, kind of get a feel for all of this, and then we're going to start making things a little bit more interesting and a more, little bit more difficult on us. Um, one of the ones that's going to be coming up, and as you'll, as you'll see with watching me play, I love hunting with my bow. So not having ranged weapons is going to be difficult, and then one of the ones we were going to do is a vegetarian version where we just don't have any animals to kill, which is going to drive me insane. <laughs> so we're going to try to find ways to make it interesting for you guys to watch. And if you have any suggestions, please, or some ideas to make it more interesting, more fun, throw them into the comment section, and you might put them in a future video. Yeah. Like, base building is not awesome!
I mean, look at this wall. Don't you love it? Mmm, wall. Anyway, moving on. I love walls. They're so awesome. Or how one would say, Wall Simulator 2015. Before I forget, I really need to put my bed down. Yeah. I don't want to do that again. Well, I did collect some pretty cool stuff, but that takes a hit on my stamina and health every time I die, so... I really want to go there. I wonder <laughs> if I can put this wall building on my resume. Would actually be pretty cool if you could. So you have carpentry experience. Yeah, I spent like two days building this like massive wall. Oh really? How'd it turn out? Well, I thought it turned out well. It kept the zombies out. You're not talking about real life, are you? No, I'm not. Oh hey, that didn't get looted. And it. Oh, cool, they have a skylight. Yeah. Nice. Well, you know what's going to go in all of our next houses in these games. Well, that's, assumes, ugh, that's assuming that they actually let you do it, because some of the stuff they have in here, you can't build yourself. Well, I think those are regular, uh, just regular light, I mean, um, windows. Windows. <laughs> yeah. so they look like it, but who knows. Fun oh, pimps, you deceptive people, you! You're the reason for the decline of society. I'm gonna test this out and see if the windows can hold me. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be awesome. Okay, yeah, we're good. I'm not gonna jump on them, but... Oh, come on! Hey, glass! Let me jump on it! It's actually really cool up here. I love the view from up on top of this building. Hi, honey! Hi! Why is there random metal up on the roof? Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe someone was a metalhead? Mm -hmm. Now this is heavy metal. The only righteous way. That was a zombie, uh, song, so you never know. Mm, yeah. Oh, well, that'd be a cool intro. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that would, would be. Alright, almost done with this wall before night. You know what's gonna suck? We're gonna get this wall all done. And the zombies are just gonna spawn inside of it. Probably. No, Horde, you should be outside, not in. Well, <clears throat> we'll see. I mean, we are in one of their pre-built fabs, and... I like to spawn around the pre-built ones. Grab it behind that tree. Hey, did we, uh, find a hammer? I think I might have. Oh, what'd you do with it? <clears throat> if I found one, it would probably be in one of the boxes. I can go see if I can find it. No, I'll take a look. I'm right here. Okay. Yeah, because I don't have one on my person, so it's probably in one of the boxes. Well, grab that repair tool, and that better... <laughs> what? <clears throat> Another rabbit got stuck in a tree, I killed it, and it leveled me. Oh, jeez. Awesome. Nest. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm not finding a hammer. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't find one. I could have sworn I did. I thought so, too, but... Maybe I should check my inventory. Nope. <laughs> I was like sitting in your hand the whole time. <laughs> well, what does surprise my... me? 
Where's my glasses? They're on your head. I always hate that. I'm like looking, looking, looking for something and it's either like my cell phone and it's usually in my hand when I do that. Where is it? Oh, I'll call my cell phone. <laughs> I think I've done that once before. Nice. Hey, everybody does it at some point or another with something. Maybe not a cell phone, but... I cannot believe I actually cut down enough wood to do this whole wall. Yeah. Okay, what do you want me doing right now? Do you want me to go cut down some more wood, or...? Yeah, if you want. Um... Or you can... Yeah, cut down some wood, and then make some planks, and then help me do this wall. Hey, <laughs> sorry. Bless you. I'm sure you heard that in both. Well, it'll be nice when we actually have two headsets that have a mic mute button on them, because that'll just be nice. Oh, yeah. Hey, I found a random dead rabbit. You and your rabbits. And I'm pretty sure I just heard a deer die. The hard part is finding them. Oh, yeah. It is kind of loud whenever you cut down a tree. That is one thing. It would be kind of nice if it was changed a little bit for the game, is that the tree falling down isn't quite so loud. Maybe we just got the settings turned up. I don't know. Sorry, what? I couldn't hear that. Oh, sorry. Were you cutting down a tree? Yes. Actually. <laughs> oh, I was, I was saying it might be in the settings more than it's in the uh, game. Well, but it only seems to be the tree that makes that much noise. Everything else sounds fine, and it's not too much. And, like, anything else that I do. Except for when my character gets hit and starts screaming, but I would expect that to be loud. True. <laughs> but the tree shouldn't be, like, the loudest thing. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe when it plays, when we hear it play back, it might not be so loud, but for my headset, it's actually pretty loud for me. Yeah. And I can't hear anything you're saying when a tree goes down. I think that's why you're supposed to yell, Timber! Really loud. Tree pretty much does that for me. I'm like hearing noise, I'm like, ah, what's that? Oh, it's you cutting a tree. Making progress. Day two, zombie horde destroys wall. Oh man. Okay, do you want the wooden log form or do you want me to go ahead and make the frames for you? Ah! Sorry, I'm right behind you, honey. Um, no, no, no. We just need planks and we need to finish this. Oh, okay. So, I don't know if you want to start on the um, other. How many planks do you have? Uh, three, four hundred? Oh, okay. We're good. Um, oh, wow. You work really fast. Not or else I was just kind of taking my time. What do you mean? Work really fast. Well, uh, we talked about this earlier. I, I have very much experience. You should see my resume. Oh, um... Are we just um, reinforcing at once? Um, uh, I'm not even reinforcing it yet. No, I mean like putting the planks on one time. Yes. Okay. What you call that? Framing it in. Does that be what the frames are for? That's a good question. Hmm. Leave that to our viewers if they feel like giving us an answer. 
Yes. Comment below. What are we doing wrong? Alright, so I think we got like an hour till it's run time. Yeah, yeah it's 8... 8.15... Well... I don't know what settings you have for how long a day and a night are, but last time we were playing... It was 8.15, we'll have to see if it's the same here. Um, I think it's... I think it's normal. Yeah, our normal play thing, so I'd put it at 8.15. I think it was like, what, 6.45 in the morning when they quit? Yeah, I think so. 7 o'clock to be safe, something like that. Alright, we're coming along good. Yeah, I, I left like entrances um, in the front and the back, but I'm not sure how I'm going to do them exactly, so I left them a little open. We'll see if it comes back to bite us in the butt. Yeah. Well, worst case scenario, we hold off until... I don't think we're going to have that big of a port our first night. Yeah. I don't think we ever have, especially if we don't burn stuff on our first night. That's the biggest thing. We don't want a heat hoard. Um, otherwise, we'll just hold out and see what small hordes happen to come through for like our morning hordes, see how that goes. Um, and worst case scenario, as soon as... They usually attack close up to the morning, so as soon as running stops, I can just do my normal take off and have them start chasing me while you shoot them from the wall. Yeah. Because yeah. that actually seems to work pretty good, so... If for some reason they're attacking your base and they're not running, and it's not even close to when they're going to be running, I should say, um, <clears throat> Go ahead, and if they're attacking your base, just jump out over the wall and get their attention and just kind of start, like, trailing them away from the house. They'll follow you, and as long as you can outrun them, just run out a little ways and then shoot them. It'll, it'll save your base so they don't un they don't destroy a ton of work that you put in. Especially if you're someone like, like me that likes to build really, really nice houses. <laughs> I always get so pissed off when they break something because it's like, no, I spent forever building that. And one of our videos, I'm going to go through a lot of the different houses that I've designed um, on some of the other um, games that I've, the other, um, yeah, games that I started with Seven Days to Die. So, give you a few, a few ideas for what you want to design for those of you who like to be creative. As well as, I think we're going to be going over in the same video, probably, um, different ways to defend the different houses, uh, depending on where you're at and what resources you have available at that area. So, hopefully that'll help you guys out with your, your base defending. Sounds good. Oh, gosh. What? I just look through the frames and there you are standing there and I'm like, crap, there's a zombie right there! How did <laughs> I not hear him? Ah. Alright, let's uh, reinforce the, um, let's reinforce the, the corners. Um, just on the outside or on the inside as well? Uh, both. Oh, okay, well I'll stay and do it from the inside, I guess. I think you only have one inside corner. Probably. All right, my part's done. <laughs> yeah, good job. Okay, so uh, it looks like it's close enough tonight that we'll just um, go inside as, as you're done with the corners there. All right. Okay, looks like we are all set for the night. All right. So guys, probably what we're going to do is, once it gets night, we're going to call it quits here. Um, and we'll pick up the recording in the morning again, and we'll go from there. So, well, let me get back inside, and we'll see what we're going to do. Alright. Rusty, where'd you go? I'm downstairs. Okay. 
All right, gent, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to call it a night here, and we will see you guys in the morning. Good night.